using gap analysis in asset liability management. In today's financial landscape, managing the assets and liabilities of a company is crucial for ensuring long-term profitability and stability. One effective tool for achieving this balance is through gap analysis in asset liability management (ALM). Let's dive deep into how gap analysis works and how it can be applied. Introduction to Asset Liability Management Asset liability management involves balancing assets and liabilities to mitigate risks related to liquidity, interest rates, and currency, ensuring the financial health of an organization. This strategic planning is essential for banks, insurance companies, and any institution managing significant financial portfolios. The concept of gap analysis. Gap analysis in ALM is a technique used to evaluate the difference between the amounts of assets and liabilities within certain maturity buckets. This gap helps in determining the sensitivity of the financial institution's net interest income to changes in interest rates, thus aiding in interest rate risk management. How gap analysis works. Identifying time buckets. The first step in gap analysis is to categorize assets and liabilities into time buckets based on their maturity or repricing periods. Common buckets are less than one month, one to three months, three to six months, and so on. Calculating the gap. For each time bucket, calculate the gap by subtracting the total liabilities from the total assets. A positive gap indicates more rate-sensitive assets than liabilities, which could mean earning more interest if rates rise, and a negative gap suggests more rate-sensitive liabilities, posing a risk if rates increase. Interest Rate Sensitivity Analysis By understanding the gap, institutions can predict how changes in interest rates affect their financial position. A positive gap in a rising interest rate environment can be favorable, as it may lead to higher net interest income. Strategies for managing gap. Once the gap is identified, institutions can implement strategies to manage their exposure to interest rate risks. Matching strategy. A matching strategy involves adjusting the portfolio to match the maturities of assets and liabilities, thereby minimizing the gap and the institution's exposure to interest rate risks. Duration analysis. Another strategy is duration analysis, which not only considers the gap, but also the sensitivity of the assets and liabilities values to changes in interest rates. Adjusting the duration of assets and liabilities can help manage the interest rate risk more effectively. Using derivatives. Financial derivatives such as interest rate swaps, futures, and options can be used to hedge against interest rate risk. These instruments can be effectively utilized to alter the interest rate exposure of assets and liabilities without having to physically sell or buy the assets. Case study, implementing gap analysis. Consider a hypothetical bank that conducts a gap analysis and finds a large negative gap in the one to three months bucket, indicating a potential risk if interest rates rise. To mitigate this risk, the bank decides to enter into interest rate swaps where it agrees to receive a fixed rate and pay a variable rate, effectively reducing its liabilities sensitivity to interest rate hikes. Conclusion Gap analysis in asset liability management is a pivotal tool that helps institutions manage their financial risks associated with interest rate fluctuations. By carefully analyzing and adjusting the gap between assets and liabilities, institutions can safeguard their financial stability and ensure long-term growth. Remember, while gap analysis is powerful, it's just one part of a comprehensive ALM strategy. Diversification, duration management, and other financial instruments play key roles in navigating the complex world of financial risk management. Want to learn more? Claire Trithel on LinkedIn 